Hey everyone, I thought I would make a video to help everyone out that is having problems downloading their DLC on Rock Band 4. So right now we are on the PS Store on our PlayStation and according to the Harmonix website you just go to add-ons and view all add-ons and what they want you to do is filter the price to uh, hmm. filter from add-on music low to high now as you can see maybe or maybe you can a lot of these songs are like either unavailable or you just can't download them for some strange reason. So you can't uh, can't really find your your DLC through this. And once you find it, it kind of resets back to the all the way to the top. So even if you scroll down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a better way to find your DLC that you've been using on your Rock Band 1 and 2 and the ones that you brought from the Rock Band store. So instead of going to the PlayStation store on your PS4, what you want to do is you want to exit this. And you just want to go back to your home. So you're right here in your home. Now, what you actually want to do is... So what you actually want to do is you actually want to go to the PlayStation Store. Okay? So we're in the PlayStation Store, and what you want to do is you want to go to your download list. Okay? So let that load. And as you can see, I've already started to download my previous Rock Band DLC from a couple of years ago. Now what you actually want to do is you either want to move forward or back, one, two, three, two, whatever page your Rock Band DLC is from. So mine is from a couple of years ago, so I'm going to go to page 14, 15, or 16. In this case, I want to go to page 14. As you can see, there's some Rock Band DLC right here, Joker and the Thief, Take Me to the River, Zeros, and a bunch of other songs. So I've actually downloaded the previous one, page 14, 15, and 16. So I'm going to download Mr. Brightside. Now instead of clicking on this, you don't want to do that because what happens is, if you click on this, it will load and you can add to cart right now. But once you finish adding to cart and then continue shopping and you press back, What's going to happen is it's going to reset back to page 1. So if you, you don't want to do the whole page 1, 2, and 3, so and do all this all over again. So what you actually want to do is click on the DLC that you want and right click and you want to open in a new tab. So what that does is this saves this whole page and then on the following page you can just add to cart and click continue shopping and you're all set now I have two items on my cart so those two items so far is Little Sister by Queens of the Stone Age and Mr. Brightside by The Killers two great DLC songs to play on Rock Band so you want to close that and now you're back here to the original uh, DLC page that, from, that you downloaded from a couple of years ago so next you just want to keep doing that process over and over again until you hit 10 items on your cart. Now uh, you can only actually have 10 items on your cart. That's actually the limit that the PlayStation Store has. So once you have filled this 10 items up, what you want to do is proceed to checkout. Uh, confirm purchase still zero so that's very good and 
as you can see you can actually just click on this page it says download right so what you want to do is download to PlayStation 4 and as you can see it moved right back it was that fast so once you actually do this entire process this is entire process makes it so much easier as opposed to I'm waiting for the Mr. Brightside Mr. Brightside showed up there you go this is a lot easier than navigating through the PlayStation 4 PS Store because it doesn't let you open up a lot of windows or to do this process that we are doing now in the computer so I hope that this helps out some people unfortunately there are some songs that you can't um, move to the PS4 uh, rock band for some strange reason like for example I have uh, Promised Land, Green Day Pack 1 Green Day, actually the Green Day Rock Band actually lets you uh, re-download it again so for some people who are, who are saying that Green Bay Rock Green Day Rock Band it's only a one time download oh, see what happens? I'm back to page 1 because I press uh, the back button but let's go to uh, page 15 and you can you can't actually download some songs so here we go this is under the bridge by the red hot chili peppers and as you can see it doesn't let me re-download it so I can't play it on rock band uh, maybe they'll re offer it again in the PS store I haven't checked it out yet but you know there are some songs that you won't be able to move to your uh, Rock Band DLC on the new PlayStation 4 or Rock Band 4 game. So that kind of sucks, but hey, you know, you just want to move on and keep playing the games that you do have. So I hope this helps out some of you guys that are on the PlayStation 4. This only works for the PlayStation 4 because why would you want an Xbox One? So I hope this helps out some people from the with using the PlayStation 4, and I hope that. I will see you in the Rock Band 4 scene. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.